Yo, what's going on, boys? I'm going to be playing some mid-ladder today. Um, Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys were probably expecting, like, top ladder or something, but I have no motivation to play on my main account today, so I'm just going to play on this. Also, I haven't played on this account since, like, last mid-ladder video, so yeah. Good thing about playing on this account is that I have no queue time, so I can just find the games. I don't have to edit any videos. So yeah, um, I'm still pretty far from maxing my cards, but, like, I'm pretty high. I'm getting up there. My season goal is, like, 7,000 as a level 12. So yeah, I think it's doable. I don't know. So this guy plays a miner. I'm just going to knight here. Let's see what he does. Whoa, okay. Just going to fireball. That was super aggressive. I'm just going to go in once I have six elixir here. Um, I think he's playing Remy Elite deck with like bomb tower wall breakers and a bunch of stuff. All right, cool. So he plays bomb tower. I'm going to skellies once the bomb tower locks because um, I need the skellies to DPS the wall breakers so I can just log them. So... um. Look at this Ice Spirit placement. If you place the Ice Spirit on top of the Spear Gobs, they kill it. But if you place it, like, low, the Ice Spirit's going to go ahead and jump on the Spear Gobs and you take no damage. So, yeah. You can't afford to make any mistakes as, like, an underlevel player because, obviously, you're going to lose if you do. Sometimes, even if you don't make mistakes, you lose either, either ways because of your tower HP. So, yeah. You have to be careful. Um, Archer split here. He's probably going to minor my Archer. So, I'm going to hover my Knight. Actually plays a knight in the back. That's a weird play. I think you're supposed to save your knight. So I'm just going to go axe bow and then knight opposite. Okay, he plays a bomb tower. Alright, I'm going to try and catch the miner. Oh, I thought he would like miner my archer. But I guess he went miner on my axe bow. I do get a lock, but this is awkward. Because um, I think I have to eat that knight. Um, because he might wall breaker. So I have to save up for fireball. Yeah. So I'm going to have to eat that knight. Um, probably going to get like what? Four hits? Three hits. All right, not bad. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to have to eat that as well. He's up a lot of damage. Um, Still winnable, though, because I think I have matchup. Um, but I'm underleveled, so you never know. Um, So I think he's like one card off minor since he played it on my expo. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Oh, he's actually back to minor, so I'm going to play a knight here. I failed to catch it, but um, I'm pretty confident he's about to magic archer my knight, so I'm going to predict it. Nice, okay, pretty predictable. I mean, it's not a wrong play. Like, it's the right play, but it's super predictable. So, yeah, I'm going to go in here. I should be back to Knight for a bomb tower he's about to play. Cool, cool, cool. Um, he's probably going to Miner. So, I'm literally going to surround my Expo with everything I have to kill that Miner. Nice, I got a lock. I'm going to log here so my Knight kills off those wall breakers. Unfortunately, I can't kill that one wall breaker because I have to Ice Spirit the right side for that Knight. Um, I'm actually going to let that Magic Urchil get some damage. I'm going to go for a second lock. Uh, knight here for the bomb tower. I'm gonna scale these here to not take too much damage from those spare gobs. I think he can log my archers and my archers die, so I have to be careful. Super quick log on the wall breakers. Um, he's back to spare gobs. We actually played it a little bit late, so yeah. That should be game. Um, I made one big mistake where I had to like eat like three or four knight hits, but thankfully I made up for it. Um, yeah. Probably gonna play like three more games to get to 65. Let's see though. Actually, two more, yeah. Sweet. Okay, found the game right away. Um, Let's see. Hopefully, another easy matchup. Even though I'm under-leveled, easy matchups are so hard to beat. Archer's in the back. Let's see what he's playing. Level 13 Ghost. I'm actually kind of glad he's a level 13 card. Um, Let's see. Tesla over here. Um, Could be playing, like, P.E.K.K.A., Mega Knight. Okay, looks like it's P.E.K.K.A. Also, um, Pekka and Meganet are super, like, popular in this range. I don't know why, but they're those two decks are just super popular. Please a bandit in the back. All right, I'm just going to log here. Um, I can't afford to make any micro mistakes. Ice Spirit in the back. There's no point of me playing it at the bridge because it's level 13, so it's not going to make it there. Um, I can't tell if that's going to dash. All right, cool. If that dashed, I would have been mad because I had skellies in hand, but I kind of hesitated because I thought it would die. Um, super close to dashing, though. It was like the animation went off, but the bandit died. Let's see what he does here. I think he's back to ghost. He's like Pekka, Zap, Fireball, Ghost Hand. Ghost in the back. All right, cool. So I think I'm going to... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to knight the back. I was thinking like Archer Split, but he has Magic Archer. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna try and predict it, uh, actually, mm, if he plays it, I'm just gonna, like, archers here. Nice, okay, I tried to predict the magic archer, but I actually got the bandit, so that was a win-win. Just gonna log him here, I just need to keep getting the log damage, um, 
I'm not going to get a connection soon, like, anytime soon. I have to, like, wait for him to overcommit and, like, double or triple maybe. So, yeah, I'm just going to fireball. I'm just, right now, I'm just focusing on not taking any damage. It's super easy to take damage as a underleveled player because, like, some interactions don't go your way. Actually, lots of them don't go your way, so, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to play Skellies over here to not let the Evas hit my Tesla, not even once. Cool, um... Back to night for that ghost. I think I'm chilling right now. I'm gonna night over here. He's probably gonna magic archer. Let's see though. I'm gonna log here. Uh, cool. Oh, he actually played a really terrible fireball, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna expo Tesla because I think he's gonna Pekka. And he actually played a bandit on the right side as well. I think this is really good for me. Um, Skelly's over here, and then I can stack up my archers on my Tesla because he's just fireballed, so he can't get back to the second one. Uh, a little bit of misplay from my part. I thought I played the Ice Spirit um, far enough to kite the P.E.K.K.A. But I actually went on my Expo. Doesn't matter though. Um, all I need to do is not take any damage. Alright, I kind of saw that coming because I don't have a Fireball in hand. I think he noticed that I played my Fireball on the Ewas. So yeah. Plays a Bandit in the back. He's back to a P.E.K.K.A. so I can't go in. Um, the log damage on the right side is kind of add adding up though. So yeah, I'm fine here. Uh, okay, that's the first time he got any damage on my tower. I'm gonna go in here because he fireballed again. This time I'm gonna make sure my push works. Um, last time I don't even know what happened. Oh, I think the Ewas kind of like helped him out, kill my Expo, but this time he played a Magic Archer, so I think I'm gonna get some damage here. Um, hopefully I do. I think he has enough for a Bandit. Okay, played a terrible Bandit. I'm gonna Knight here. Nice, I get some damage. Um, if he goes for like a Zap or something, I'm gonna Expo right. Alright, I guess not. I'm just gonna play some defense here if i was a level 14 i would definitely expo the right side there that would have been the obvious play but since i'm a level 12 i have to defend also i think my archers died to like one ghost hit so this is not good um archers in the back probably gonna bandit my tesla so i'm gonna keep hovering my skellies play the knight in the back uh all right guess not so i'm just gonna fireball the magic archer mm, weird fireball he's like splitting his damage i don't know what he's doing um, gonna play a Tesla here again. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's been itchy all day. Anyways, I'm gonna play a Knight here for the Bandit and the Ghost. Um, gonna log here. The only damage he's gotten so far is from, like, one Fireball on each of my towers. Okay, I actually played a second one on my left tower, so I'm just gonna Defensive Expo. I think I'm gonna Fireball Cycle as well, even though I'm up damage, because, like, he's gonna be cycling me, so I have to get some damage on him as well. Gonna Fireball that Ram. Um, on top of that, he played a Terrible Magic Archer, so, yeah. Okay, I actually plays a P.E.K.K.A. I'm gonna Expo right, not to get damage. I just wanna like force out something to like split up his push. Um, Knight over here, and then I can Tesla. He zapped on the right side, so I can play Scalies on the Bandit and the P.E.K.K.A. Ice Spirit over here, I'm gonna log. He goes for a third Fireball on my left tower. Um, Expo locks. Looks like I'm actually gonna get more damage on the right side because he's not paying attention to it at all. Um, log over here. Um, that expo is supposed to be like a bait for like a ghost or a bandit, but I guess he just kind of ignored it and then his push got shut down. So, yeah, pretty easy game. Um, well, I had to play some like really good defense, but yeah, overall pretty easy. So, probably gonna play like two more games. Nice, no queue time. All right, facing Fernandito. Um, let's see what he's playing. Hopefully he has some level 13 cards as well. Um, let's see. He's not making a play. So if he doesn't make a play, I'm just going to Expo the right side. Yeah, I'm actually going to Expo here. Skelly drags. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is Lava Hound. Because um, I'm like high enough to be not facing any off-meta decks at this point. Like All the decks I'm facing right now are like meta decks. So yeah. Ice Spirit over here for the Skelly drag. He's probably going to eye drag. So I'm going to hover my Skellies. Um, if not, he's probably just gonna go, like, Lava Hound in the back. If he does that, I'm gonna have to, like, pressure with the Knight. He actually goes for a Zap on my Expo. So, I think I'm gonna Knight the left lane here to pressure. I don't wanna Knight the right lane because he can just, like, eye drag and then Lava Hound in front of it and then airs my archers and whatnot. So, yeah. He could do the same thing on the left side, but that's not the tower I'm going for. I'm going for his right side tower, so, yeah. I'd feel a little bit safer defending it. Um, so he just wasted his eye drag. I can, mm, I was going to go in, but he actually played a um, Skelly Drags in the back, so I, I have to hold on here. I can't fireball those. He has barbs, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm going to knight and then pull these 
things back. Um, I could have like pulled him opposite lane, but I just want to get some damage on the tower while I'm at it. So yeah. Ooh, the Skelly Drag actually turned around and went for my tower, so that's unfortunate. Um, goes for Arrow's Balloon, super aggressive, but I have a Tesla, so I think I'm fine here. I'm actually gonna go in here in a second, because the only response for Axe Bone Hand he has right now is like an Eye Drag, so I can just Skellies and then distract, get some damage. Nice. All right. Oh, he actually goes for a Zap, so I'm gonna Ice Spirit to like reset it and then get some more damage on the tower. Hopefully, take the whole tower. That'd be really nice. Um, 93 HP. Okay, I can just log it to take it. So yeah, not a big deal. I'm gonna kite it opposite. Um, I think he's up elixir by a lot, like by like five elixir. So I have to watch out here. Also, I think my archers get like um one shotted by the miner. Actually, probably not. I don't know. Uh, let's see what he does here though. Okay, I'm gonna expo here to uh, make the balloon go in front. Um, notice how the balloon's getting targeted by the Tesla now. If I didn't play the expo, the Yikes, I missed the fireball. I probably lost her. <laughs> um, you have to like make literally zero mistakes to win as an underleveled player. Plus, on top of that, I missed the fireball, so this is probably game over. Let's see if I can defend this, though. He goes for some opposite lane pressure. Uh, yikes, this is bad. Fireball. Um, Skelly's up high. Oh my god, my Tesla two shots a pup. I forgot about that. Yeah, I lost. Okay, so I kind of choked with that fireball. Um... I feel terrible. <laughs> if I just hit that fireball, I think it would have been fine. But yeah, he played well as well. Good pressure on the opposite lane. No worries though. That that just means I have to play like what three more games. Yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty long video. Not a problem though. I'm just gonna go in here. Um, let's see. All right, facing Ace. Hopefully not another Lava Hound player. Lava Hound is like super, like terrible matchup as an under level player. It's like top three worst matchups. Of course, I put um, Mega Knight first. Yeah, because he's playing Lava Hound. What the hell, man? I literally just faced another Lava Hound. All right, whatever. Just going to Knight opposite to pressure. I wish I had my Expo, so I could just, like, Expo opposite, get a lock. Not sure what variant he's running. Um, Tombstone. Okay, could be Lava Loon again. Yeah, it looks like it's Lava Loon again. That's so annoying. Um, <laughs> it's like the game knows I can't beat Lava, so it just matched me against the Lava again. No. Um, doesn't matter though, uh, two shots of pop, so I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, because my tower, three shots of pop. That's actually insane. Like, at max level, the Tesla one shots of pop, and the tower two shots of lava pop, but as a level 12, three shot, two shot. Um, hmm, interesting Valk. I'm actually gonna knight that Valk and then go in opposite lane here. Um, I don't think he's back to Tombstone. Even if he is, it doesn't matter, because I can just, like, fireball the scaly drags on my expert or something. Ooh, perfect. He went lava in the back, so I can get some damage here. Um, let's just hope I don't miss my fireball again. I mean, that was pretty painful to choke a game like that. Um, so he doesn't have a fire or arrows, so I can just like play archers here. He's probably gonna fireball them though, so if he does, I'm just gonna Tesla and then Ice Spirit. He does, okay. Ice Spirit to make a retarget on my Tesla, and then I think I have to play a knight once the lava hunt pops. Pops, sorry. Uh, yeah, because the pups take forever to die. Look at them. Whatever, though. Um, I'm down elixir for sure. I just had to spend, like, seven elixir on a half HP lava hound. So, yeah. Uh, Skelly's over here. He might go in with a balloon or something. I can't defend that, unfortunately. If I play my, um, archers, he's just gonna Valk balloon and then I lose. I'm gonna Tesla here. Um, thankfully, I'm back to a Tesla. If I wasn't back to a Tesla, I think I would have, like, Archers and then, like, played an Ice Spirit high. I'm gonna Knight here, gonna log this. This should be a tower unless he goes for a Balloon on Max, but which I don't think he's back to it. Nice, he missed the Fireball on Max, but... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Axe Ball opposite here. He actually overcommitted on it as well. I'm gonna Tesla here, um, Ice Spirit. Just not gonna let anything touch my Axe Bow from here on out. We actually played Skelly Drags. If I knew he was going to do that, I would just, like, Prediction Fireball. But uh, I don't think it matters. I can just, like, stall for 20 seconds. Um, Tesla high. I should be back to Archers after I play this Ice Spirit. Um, uh, Archers super high, so he can't, like, Fireball the Tower and Archers at the same time. Knight over here. Let's see what he does. He zaps my Archers. All right, cool. Three seconds left. There's no way he can take my Tower. Yep. Alright, pretty good game. Um, kind of made up for the last game I choked. So yeah. 
Let's see, actually, I'm just gonna play one more because I'm one off 65. Yeah, true. Okay, quick game again. Um, facing Onigiri. Hopefully, it's an easy matchup. Hopefully, not Mega Knight. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna archer it in the back. I can't play Ice Spirit because it's not gonna make it. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna knight that bandit. I think. Yeah, just gonna knight here. Uh, plays a ghost opposite, so it looks like another Pekka spam. Like I said, it's a super popular deck down here. I don't know why, but yeah. So it looks like he has max cards. So I have to watch out. This game's gonna be a lot like harder than last game, last Pekka player because. All of his cards are level 14, and looks like he actually knows what he's doing, because his magic archers are on point. Well, that one magic archer was on point, so yeah. Gonna have to get back to Ice Spirit. He's probably gonna zap this. Yep. So, I might have to knight here. Yikes. Okay. Actually, I'm glad he played that bandit, because I was gonna knight regardless. Like, if he waited a little bit and then played a bandit opposite, he might have gotten damage. Yeah, because I have to overcommit so much for one single bandit. Like, it killed my knight. Because my tower does no damage. Gonna have to play archers in the middle. The ghost is gonna one shot it. Okay, so I'm just gonna play ice spirit over here. Hopefully the ghost dies. Yikes. That's probably gonna get like two hits on my tower. Oh, you gotta be joking. <laughs> Whatever. Um, That just means I have to like find an opportunity to go in and then get some damage. Of course, if he plays good, um, I might have already lost the game. But I don't expect him to play perfect. Because... He's at 64 with a max deck, so yeah. I'm not trying to make fun of him, obviously, but what I'm trying to say is he's not, not as good as, like, top P.E.K.K.A. players. Because if this was top ladder, I probably would have lost the game already. Um, let's see what he does here. He's probably going to abandon my Tesla. Okay, he actually goes for abandoning the back, so I'm just going to archers above my king. I was going to split them, but, like, might as well play it above the king. Um, going to scale these over here, and then knight. He might zap my scalies. Nice, he does. Okay. So I think I'm going to expo left here. And I'm going to fireball that. Oh, did I just miss? Yikes. I fat fingered a fireball. No way. Yeah, I definitely lost. No way I beat this. Um, I'm going to try my best to defend here. This is going to be super hard. I'm definitely going to take a lot of damage here. Ice Spirit for that P.E.K.K.A. Um, knight over here. That Okay, the ram's going to connect. But the barb should lock onto my knight. Um, Magic Archer gets one hit. All right. So, I somehow ended up defending it with, like, even damage on both of my towers. But I'm still in a terrible spot. Like, a really bad spot. Um, Skelly's over here. Not gonna fireball that magic archer. I can just log it to my Tesla. Um, gonna log it here. I leaked a little bit because I wanted to kill that magic archer. Like, without wasting it so much elixir. You know, Tesla over here, he's pressuring me. He probably knows I have a bad cycle. Uh, hopefully I keep my Tesla alive. Man, how does a Battle Ram get through like a level 13 Tesla and Skellies? Uh, whatever. He just played Magic Archer, so um, I can play my Knight in the back if I want to, but I don't want to right now, so yeah. Let's get a Skellies over here. He's probably going to Zap. Um, okay, cool. Knight over here. Oh, the E was actually locked on my tower. Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna have to fireball again. Those magic archers are super annoying. He knows what he's doing because he's playing them in the middle instead of like at the bridge. Um, let's see. Tesla. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to think. How do I get some damage here? This is looking kind of hopeless. Uh, all right. He finally played a. And I made a bad play, so I'm gonna go in here. I spirit for that bandit. I'm gonna Tesla here since he just fireballed. Also gonna archers. Uh, if he goes for like a ghost or something, I have knight. So, skellies are. Right, I have knight here. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna axe left. Yeah, this is a good play. Nice, nice, nice. I think I'm gonna get some damage here. Um, hopefully I do. Archers over here for that bandit. Nice. I get two locks on both of the towers. I'm gonna fireball that Eva's actually super quick. So I keep getting damage on the tower. Tesla over here. Um, I have knight for that magic archer and the ram. I have to play it low though, unfortunately, because the barbs are going to take my tower if I ignore. Alright, I'm back in this game. Back in the lead. Um, I was super scared there for a second because, like, I didn't see an opportunity to go in. But he actually played a terrible fireball, so yeah. Nice. feel like a god right now. I don't even know how I came back from that. Um, Tesla over here. 15 seconds, so yeah. There's no way he can beat me in 15 seconds. I'm up a lot. So that's going to be the video, I think. 
um i hope this video helped because i know a lot of you guys are stuck in this range with like max cards so you should be able to like get some nice um micros from this video to like get to top ladder because if you can't ex escape this range you probably never are gonna get to top ladder so yeah Let's see where that puts me should be 65 okay 65 of four so yeah don't forget to like and sub um had a lot of fun recording this um yeah next video is gonna be top ladder for sure thanks for watching peace